let us talk about the deformities of the club foot and we describe the deformities by c a v e cave in cave c signifies increase in the cavus deformity a is for increase in the adductus the foot is adducted v is for varus so if you go back we will see that heel is in varus and e is for tuinus So we will see the same thing in bone model also. This is the bone model and here we can see that the word C A V E cave. Here C is for cavus. So we can see there's increase in the cavus deformity. The arch is increased here. The arch is increased so much. The other word is A. A is adductus. So forefoot is seems to be adducted very much. The third is V. V is for varus. So heel is in varus. And E is for equinus. You can see in this picture that the arch of the foot is higher than the normal. This is because the first metatarsal is plantar flexed in relation to the calcaneum, the hind foot. The second deformity is adductus. Adductus is movement towards the midline. In both these models, we can see that forefoot is adducted towards the midline. This is the second part of the deformity of club foot. In this mo bone model, we can see that navicular is getting up of the head of the talus. The navicular is getting dislocated from the talar head, leading to adductus. This is the head of the talus. And this is the navicular bone. So head of the talus is out of the navicular. The calcaneum also rotates medially under the talus as a part of the adductus deformity. Varus means movement toward the midline. In this bone model, it is shown that heel in the club foot is in varus and angle towards the midline. Equinus means an increase in the plantar flexion of the foot. In this picture, calcaneum is plantar flexed in relation to the tibia. This is the final part of the cave deformity and will be the last part to be corrected. We use CAVE cave to describe, it, describe the deformities of the club foot and we will use CAVE cave to treat club foot. Now we will start the correction by Ponseti technique. In Ponseti technique, we first do correction of the cavus, this increase arch of the foot. For that, what we do is we lift the metatarsal head upwards so as to align the hind foot with the forefoot. Forefoot comes in line with the hind foot. Here you are seeing when we are lifting the metatarsal heads, the forefoot is coming in line with the hind foot. The second deformity we correct is adduction. So first, once we have done correction of the cavus, then only we go on the next step that is the correction of the adductor's deformity. In adductor's deformity, what we do is we first hold the foot like this and put our thumb over the head of the talus and then abduct the metatarsal heads so as to get cover on the metatars on the talar head the navicular comes and covers the talar head and we keep on abducting in different plasters and it takes almost 3 and 4 plasters to get its completely 
covered by the navicular. The third deformity, the varus gets corrected on its own when we do abduction of the foot. Here you can see the varus is getting corrected on its own when we are abducting the foot. Once again, when we are abducting the metatarsals, varus is getting corrected on its own. And the fourth deformity, the equinus, we deal it at the end. And in 90% cases, we do percutaneous stenotomy. So hold the dish. There is talonavicular dislocation. The head of the talus is here and navicular is here. So head of the talus is out of the navicular. It is dislocated. So what we are doing is we are putting one thumb over the head of the talus and abducting the forefoot. So the talonavicular joint is getting reduced. Right. You can see here, mm. it is getting reduced. And what if we put our thumb over the cuboid? We cannot abduct the forefoot. That is the kite sitter. Because the thumb will prevent... Because the thumb will prevent the abduction of the forefoot. That's right. And that is the tibia fibular mortis that you see. Here. And right. And when we try to correct the quinus, you see that the ankle mortis was widened. Widened to allow the broader anterior Indeed, portion of the talus to get into the mortis. mortis and for that you may have to divide the talofibular ligament. ligament thank you thank you